Hi guys, Leslie here. I'm going to talk about how I use uh, easy product displays to interlink my blog posts and make these really nice displays like I did here um, on Robin's site. These are not product displays, they're just displays. They're like buttons that go to other blog posts and pages that she's written. So I'm going to show you how I do that using EPD. Uh, if you don't have EPD, you can get my link down in the video notes. Uh, but what I would do is, um, I would say, say I want three of them. Okay, I don't want buy buttons, but I'll show you how to remove those in a minute. So I'm going to have three in a row. I happen to like three in a row, but with EPD, you could do you know, four in a row, you could do three in a row, two in a row, you know, however many in a row you want to do. Um, but for this... This, I'm going to do the three, I like the three by three, it's my preference. So first you're going to want images, right? You, you're going to have to have your own images hosted on your site. So what I did, um, like for the case of Robbins, is I just uploaded them to her media library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blog as an example, not hers. And I'm going to take three pictures, okay, that I want to use. So I'll take this one. And I'm going to take that image URL that's right here, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come over to EPD, and I'm going to paste it where it says uh, product image or URL. It's not a product. That's okay. still works. And see, it came up. Um, now I'm going to go, and I'm going to find that blog post that it links to, right? So that is the Lego crook such and such. Uh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to... That's... That's the link. That's the link to the post. So I'm going to copy that and paste it where it says product URL. Okay. Uh, here I'm just going to write Lego City Police Crook Pursuit, which was my keyword anyways. And don't worry about these buy buttons. I'll show you at the end how I remove them. It's real simple stuff. So I'm going to just take three pictures really quick from my media library. I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm going to take like this picture, for example. And I'm going to put it here where it says image. Um, and the image should pop up. And it does. I'm going to take the link to that post. Which there. Um, I'm going to put it here where it asks for that. Um, okay, so then the, uh, the box won't pop up until you fill in all three things. So don't think you're doing something wrong. Just make sure that all three are filled in. Uh, let's pick another picture here. I'm just picking pictures for the, the sake of picking pictures. That just sounds funny, picking pictures. Hey, let's go with this one. I like the squares. A square is best, so your images, um, they work better if they're square. I mean, you can use other sizes, but it, it looks a little funky. So I go with squares when I can. Uh, and then I need the URL of the actual blog post, which is there. I'm going to put it in the product URL area. I'm going to say Lego Creator Treehouse. Um, okay, and so look at Now I have three side-by-side -side displays. Don't they look nice? Of course they do. So, and now I'm going to remove these buttons. And I also don't like the title there. Um, so I take that out too, because I'm just trying to make it look like a button. Um, and so I just say none. And now I have, now you can put a line around this stuff. See how it's got a line now around it, or a border, excuse me. Um, and you can have the title if you want the title. You can add um, your own custom HTML button. So if you wanted to say, um, see, blog post, you know, you could do that. Um, you could get real, you can get real jiggy with it in EPD. I really like that. Um, but I don't want anything, so I'm going to put none. Okay, and so now you can see, here, let me scoot this over. Now you can see that I have three blog posts in a row. Um, you can list as many as you want. Like, you want the whole page full, you could keep going. Uh, I'm just doing three for the sake of doing three, but, I mean, you could keep going. Look at all these displays you can build. You can... Um, you can have four in a row, five in a row, three in a row. You can have three on top, four little ones on the bottom. Um, these over here are all mobile responsive. So these three buttons here that I've made, or I call them buttons, or these three displays here, 
that I've made, they're going to stay responsive and mobile, meaning they're not going to drop down to the next line um, in a mobile display. So I like to choose responsive. But um, if you want your pictures pinnable, which is also awesome, you want your pictures pinned. So um, that's what these ones here are, but they're not mobile responsive. These flow ones, sorry, I don't, they switched the interface and it does that now. Um, but these, uh, these flow ones here are pinnable. So that means you can pin them. Um, as the mobile responsive ones, they are not pinnable. They don't show up. So it's up to you and how you want to display that. Do you want them to be mobile responsive or do you want them to be pinnable? Now, if you want both, you have the option of doing these buttons like I did and then maybe doing the side-by-side -side displays down here using the pinnable one. So then when I go to pin it, um, and you'll see, hey, Anita, you'll see that um, all the buttons show up. Okay, so there they are. But they're only showing up because I used the flow side of EPD on these ones. And then I used mobile responsive here. So when you're on a mobile phone, these three will stay side by side. So that is one way you could get both. Of course, it is more work, but you don't mind more work. Not. So um, to do the side by side real quick, I'll show you. Um, so this was mobile responsive. Uh, you can only do one at a time. So you can get rid of that I want to do your mobile or your low side first so to do the uh, to do the Pinterest worthy ones the ones that are pinnable just you know pick a size whatever size you want you know pick it from the flow side uh, tell it to go left or right I like the left you can like the right doesn't matter oh excuse me and then in this area right here where it says to write your text Write your text, okay? So write, write your text about whatever it is you want to say here, okay? And apply those changes, um, and then that's it. See, it's side by side. So and then you just take your code, you paste your code over in the text editors, okay? So however you want to do it, you do it that way. But um, I think it's a really neat way to interlink blog posts. I think it looks really nice on the bottom of some of my blog posts that I do. Um, it just looks nice and it's a great way to interlink stuff. So if you were wondering how I did it, there you go.